Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Okay, today we're going to make a simple man in Blender um, by using our default cube. We start with our default cube every single time we open the program. We're going to switch to edit mode first of all, which if you remember is tab. Or you could have gone down here and changed it. Now we're going to just rotate the cube around a little bit by holding in the middle mouse button, dragging towards ourselves so we can see the top side of the cube. Now if we press the A key to deselect all the vertices and press the B key, we can drag a marquee around the top four vertices to select the top face, or we could have held shift and right clicked on each one of the vertexes. Now, we want to make a simple man, so if we zoom out a bit by using the plus or minus keys or the middle mouse um, or the mouse wheel, we can extrude the top plane. Extruding is like adding another surface on top. So if we just tap the E key with our top face selected and select region from the menu that pops up, as you'll see it's automatically got a constraint on the Z axis. So now if we hold the control key and drag our mouse up and it jumps up twice and then click to place. So now we've got two cubes effectively joined together. If we do that the same again and we press the E key select region, hold the control key and drag up two notches again. Okay, so now we've got one leg. If we rotate our cube to the side, just like that, and we want to select this vertex and hold shift and right click on this vertex, shift right click this vertex, shift right click this vertex. Now we've got a different face selected and we want to extrude that one as well. So now if we press the E key, select region, hold control and move our mouse over two clicks again. And we'll do that once more so make sure that face is selected. Press the E key, select region, hold control and drag it over two clicks again. Okay. Now we want to select the underside of the, this cube, so if we do right click on this vertex here and shift and right click on this vertex, shift and right click on this vertex, shift and right click on this vertex. Now we have the underside of that cube selected. We want to extrude this to make the other leg now. So if we press E, select region, hold control and drag it down two notches. Press E select region, drag it down two notches. Okay, so now we have the legs done. We want to rotate up to this sort of an angle. Then we would like to select this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, and this vertex. Um, we're going to extrude this as well, so if you rotate him around a bit like this, and we'll just place him in the middle of the screen a bit better by shift and middle click. Uh, we'll extrude this now, so if we press the E key, select region, drag it up two notches. Press the E key, select region, drag it up two notches. Select E, select region, drag it up two notches. Okay, that should be about the right length for our body. Now if we go to the side, we can select the side face. So if we select that vertex, Shift and shift and right click on this vertex, shift right click on this vertex, shift right click on this vertex. Now we'll extrude that one again. So if we press the E key, select region, hold control, and pull it out to press the E key, select region, and pull it out to while holding control. Um, and we'll do it once more, select the E key, press region and drag it out too. Holding control while we do this makes the cube be even. Um, I'll give you a quick example. If we press the E key now and select region without holding the control, we can do it 
any any length and it would look uneven and messy. I'm just going to press escape now to get, get out of that. If we select the other side to carry on with our other arm, we can right click on that vertex, shift right click this vertex, shift right click this vertex and shift right click this vertex. Now press the E key, select region, hold control and pull it out too. Press the E key, select region, hold control and pull it out too. Just once more. Press the E key, select region, hold control, and pull it out too. Now, there you go. We have our basic body shape. We're now going to add a head to our person. Now, if you just click where the head should be, just about here, you'll see that um, your 3D cursor has moved to the space where the head should be. Although we don't actually know in 3D space if that cursor is aligned with the body so if we just rotate it to the side we can tell um, as you can see it's near the back I'm just going to press the 3 key now to align it with the side um, and then I can put my cursor in a bit of a better place okay I'll press the 1 key again oh sorry 7 key to get back to the front now this is something new I haven't shown you before. If you press the space key, you can. This is where you add other objects. You can transform your selected objects and different options like that. So we're going to add a icosphere. An icosphere is just a sphere really made up of triangular planes. Um, we'll just keep these settings as they are. So we'll click OK. And as you can see, we've got a head just appear there, or, or a UV sphere, or sorry, an icosphere. Um, it looks a bit small, so if you remember from the last tutorial, we'll press S to resize it, and drag outwards and make it the appropriate size. And there we go. Now if we press the tab button, we can go back and have a look around our man, and he's looking lovely. He's in um, object mode at the moment, although he is looking a bit square. So to round him off a little bit, we'll do something called subsurfing. Uh, to subsurf an object, you have to be in object mode, or it's better to be in object mode. Um, and then if you come down here and click add modifier, subsurf. Now you can see our man's a little bit more rounded off. We have a few more options down at Subsurf. We can define how round he's actually going to be by increasing the levels here. So if we put it up to 2, for example, you see he gets even rounder, or 3, and he gets rounder again. It's best not to put it too high at the moment because it will put strain on your computer. You can always add the render levels to 3 or 4, and when you actually render the drawing, it will look very smooth. I've got to say, though, I think his legs look quite short. So if we go back to edit mode now by pressing tab, we can push the A key to deselect our icosphere, push push the B key to get a marquee, and we'll just drag it around the bottom of his feet like this, so we select the bottom two planes of his legs. Now we can push the E key to extrude, we'll extrude the region, and we'll hold control and drag it down, and we can make his legs a little bit longer, and I think he looks quite a lot better now. Um, we'll push tab to go back into object mode. That's about it for this tutorial but I'll be back with some more soon. Thanks for watching.